So if the toss is in the right spot, the follow through should take you right behind the ball. Really, really. So when I step up and serve, And the wind doesn't follow my surface. The ball doesn't have a chance to go up in the air and blow around. But you notice, I just place the ball where the racket goes. And if I throw it, if I don't throw the ball far enough forward, put it here, then I can't have away from that curve. Then if I throw it too far over here, I'll fall over. But too far that way, I'll throw that, fall that way. So one way to tell is if you put a little mark in the court where you start out, and you know the direction the ball goes, if you serve, if you go along the direction the ball went, the toss was probably pretty good. Any questions? I knew that had to be one. Doesn't matter. That's why I didn't say it. The big thing is that you get sideways to where you want the ball to go. See, the problem with saying the angle that you put your foot to the line is different in the new court than it is in the ad court. Because you're serving two different angles. And also, some people's legs are like this, and some people's legs are like this. And they're not going to stand the same way. So, it matters if I'm serving that way. It just so happens, if I put a racket on my leg, in general that way. Then when I go to the ad court, that way. So you're just sideways to where you want it to go. No specific answer to that. So we use the uh, same toss whether we do a slice or flat serve. Slice and flat serve should be an identical toss. The reason being, if you have a different toss for every serve, your opponent knows it. So you don't want your opponents to know. As much as you can disguise as possible. An American twist serve does require a different toss. But you swing just as hard on all of them. 